WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 50 points. You got the Nasdaq up 84, S&P's up nine and a half. Gold, gold contract up $12.30, trading at $17.76 an ounce. We have silver up by 34 cents, $22.55 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 27 cents, $70.56 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year down three ticks, 133.06, 30 year off five at 163.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 79 ticks, trading 93,197. Euro 117, yen 109.23, and the British pound 136 to 1 US dollar. Uh, bottom line, we go take a look at the SPY and you get a weak market. Uh, you know, you get a little bounce going here. You get volumes contracting. And we take a look at the SPY. The SPY yesterday traded down to a price point of uh, 430, 428. Uh, right now, we got up to a high today of uh, 437.91. You're at 435.54. And if you close there, it's like, okay, can't even get over the highs of yesterday. You do already have the contraction of volume. My take is that what we're going to end up doing here, folks, is setting up an ABC structure on the way down. That's how these mostly shake out. Um, you know, the bottom line, if you, if you take this trend line and put it up there, you had a decisive break with volume. And that's saying this market wants to go a lot lower. We take a look at the NDX 100. NDX 100 is set up the exact same way. If we take a look at the three Qs here, what you have with the three Qs, three Qs right now is trading at a price point of a 367.81, and that didn't get over the high of yesterday. Uh, broke that trend line, broke it with volume. Uh, you get the Fed meeting today. We're going to have uh, what they have to say tomorrow. I, it, it, to me, it's going to be status quo. That's the real bottom line. It, you know, and status quo um, shouldn't shake up the market that much, but the bottom line is that this is a market that wants lower price. The thing that's pretty amazing, and, but it, it, it goes together with the market wanting lower prices. If you take a look at this note and bond market, uh, bottom line is that it will not back off. You know, you get, yesterday you went higher with volume. Uh, you get 1.1 million contracts out here today. And what you're doing, you're doing a sideways move, but that's still building cause to get up into these highs. Right now, uh, the 10 year, what we're doing with the 10 year, 10 year right now is yielding. 1.32%. Uh, Stay right there, folks. Come right back.